In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do more with the multi-column multi -column sort feature. Now, for me, when I'm working um, on data sheets that are large, I tend to do this trick. And my trick is you put a color that you want to highlight cells on, and you go to your home tab, and you double click on the uh, format painter, and then that color stays with you. Okay, so uh, let me just go pick out a few of these and some of these other ones that look a little strange to me. And so now I go and I turn this off so I don't highlight anything by accident. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to my data tab. I'm going to go to the sort feature here. And now what I, I want to do is I want to sort by numbers. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to bring up all the ones that are colored orange here so I can see. And I know that that is in the price row or in the price column. And it says uh, sort cell values. Now, I don't want to sort by that. I just want to sort by the, uh, the ones that are colored orange. So I want to bring those to the top. So I drop this down and I go cell color. And now I get a new dialog box that's below there or beside there. And I say no color. It says no color. And I drop that down. And it already knows that we've got some orange ones in there. And so it's going to bring those to the top. And so we say OK. And lo and behold, all of my cells that are orange colored are, are up here at the top. Now, if I wanted to. Um, do more with this, um, do more with this, this multi sort feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my, um, my multi column feature. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, another, another line, another level. And so, so let's say um, I would like to sort by um, sort by date. And so now I go um, billing date and I want to go oldest to newest and see what that happens. So it's going to go, we've already sorted those at the top and then of those, of those ones that are sorted at the top, it's going to go oldest to newest now for us. So now let's go to the top here and now you see that it's oldest to newest. Okay. So now I want to take off the filtering that I've done with the color here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my sort and filter button. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up what we have filtered and sorted by. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the levels. And so now I'm sorting and filtering by nothing. And so now what I'm going to do is I'd like to sort and filter by icons. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just copy the quantity out to the K column here. And so we're going to go um, equals uh, quantity, which is this one. So what I've done is I've co I'm copying. So I just did equals H2, and then I'm going to drag it down or double click to get, get it to the end. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to use icons and we're going to show you how to um, sort by icons. And so what I'm going to call this one is status. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this. So I'm going to go control shift down arrow. And then I'm going to go to the home tab and I'm going to go to conditional formatting and I'm going to go to icon sets. And I think I want, um, these ones. Okay, so that looks doesn't look very helpful because they're all the same. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going back to conditional formatting. I'm going to manage rules. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this rule. And so now what I'm going to do, so when you go further down in this dialog box, it says um, when the value is, and then has it in percent. Well, I don't want it in percent. I would like it in value. So I'll say number, and I'll say number for both of these. And I don't want it to be um, 
what I want it to be is it why well, I want it to be green for over 500. So I'll put 500 in here and then pretty good is over 100. And so we'll, and then below 100 is pretty lousy so I'll just leave it as red and we'll go okay. Now the other thing I want to show you is that you can just leave the icon and so you don't have to have the numbers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little button be before that. And now I'm going to go back and I'm just going to have the icons. And say okay. And so now I just have the icons. So back at our sorting thing, we go back to our data tab. We go to by the multi, um, just minute, let me just not have that one click. Um, let's go by the uh, multi uh, sort. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort by um, I'm going to sort by status. So that's what we call our icons. And so now it says by cell value, and I don't want to go by cell value. I want to go by um, conditional form formatting icon, and I would like to have um, I would like to have the green one on top. So the green one on top, and we'll say okay. And so there you have the ones that are green on top. Now we can sort also again with um, these yellow and red ones for the fact that, uh, or the green ones, we could also sort by date. So that's how you can use additional functions that you can use in the multi-column sort in Excel. Please subscribe.